بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لكتور نمبر 6 فلو ميرنج ديفايسز وات ار ذا فلو ميرنج ديفايسز بيفور جوينج تووردز ذا فلو ميرنج ديفايسز وي كاب سم بريفيس ثينجز لايك ميثودز اوف واتر ميرمنت وات ار ذا ميثودز to measure the water or discharge of water first method that is weighing method second one is volumetric method third one is velocity area method and fourth one that is called as measuring devices in which orifices weirs flumes are included what is uh, weighing method its simple formula is equal to flow rate or you can say that discharge of water is equal to volume of water divided by time and volume of water is equal to total weight of water divided by unit weight of water and uh, you have to measure in this case you have to measure the total weight of water and unit weight of water is constant that is equal to 62.4 pounds per cubic feet second method that is volumetric method uh, there is also a simple formula discharge in liter per second is equal to volume of reservoir divided by total time required to fill that reservoir in seconds in this case we will get the answer in liters per second we can uh, convert the units into others third method that is velocity area method in which we have to find first of all area of a cross section um, like rectangular triangular or trapezoidal there are different formulas uh, for triangular rectangular and trapezoidal when we uh, find the area of the cross section then we can find the velocity by using the current meter method or float method that we have already studied in the practical class if there is irregular section of cross section irregular cross sectional area like this one then we have to divide this area in in sub sections 1 2 3 4 5 and then we have to find its uh, uh, depth and width and area is equal to uh, a1 area a1 is equal to b1 into d1 a2 is equal to b2 d2 a3 is equal to b3 d3 into d3 or uh, similarly for uh, this subsection and this subsection and finally we have to find the area of whole cross section that will be equal to a1 a2 a3 a4 and a5 and the fourth method that is flow measurement by devices there are three mostly three types of devices weirs orifices flumes one other is that is called as flow meter used for measuring the flow of water in pipes and uh, for measuring the discharge of tube well there is uh, an other method that is used that is called as coordinate method here we will discuss only weirs what is weir weir is an obstruction in the channel that causes the water to rise behind direction of flow over it ye uh, जो इरीगेशन चैनल का आउटलेट है यानी कि जिस जगह पर मोगा होता है या तो वहाँ पर होगा सॉरी कैनाल आउटलेट जो है वो जहाँ पर मोगा होता है यहाँ वहाँ पर लगा होगा या फिर हम किसी भी वाटर कोर्स में इसको इंस्टॉल करके हम डिस्चार्ज मेयर कर सकते हैं क्यूब फाइंड कर सकते हैं ये इस शक्ल का हो सकता है ये रेक्टेंगुलर शक्ल है इसकी मेयर की दो जगहों पर ये हो सकता है या तो वाटर कोर्स में इसको खुद इंस्टॉल करेंगे या फिर मोगे की जगह पर इसको ये लगा होगा 
और हम इससे डिस्चार्ज मेजर करेंगे देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वियर बिफोर गोइंग टू द टाइप्स ऑफ वियर देर आर टर्मिनोलॉजीज वट इज क्रेस्ट दिस पोर्शन ऑफ वियर इज कॉल्ड एज क्रेस्ट ओवर विच वाटर इज फ्लोइंग वाटर इज फ्लोइंग ओवर दिस दिस पोर्शन इज दिस पार्ट ऑफ वियर इज कॉल्ड एज क्रेस्ट दिस वन and this uh, flowing of water yeah, or you can say that sheet of water which is flowing over the crest that is called as a nape or vein vein or nape these are the classifications of wear if we classify the wear on the basis of shape and crest then there are two types like sharp crested wears and second one is broad crested wear and second classification which is based on the length of crest uh, first one is suppressed wear and second one is contracted wear and third classification is based on the shape of wear uh, means rectangular wear or triangular wear or trapezoidal wear let us discuss one by one first of all classification based on the shape of crest you can see that this is sharp edge crest that is called as sharp crested wear if there is a broad crested wear crest is broaded then the wear is called as uh, broad crested at this in this wear the nape or vein or you can say that a sheet of water is being contracted and in this case the sheet of water is not contracting but broadening the second classification which is based on the length of crest you can see that in this case uh, this uh, length of crest is equal to the um, length of uh, uh, this uh, width of the channel both have the same uh, length and uh, width but in this case you can see that channel width is b and uh, wear's length is l l is smaller than b if l is equal to b then wear is called as suppressed wear if l is less than b uh, or you can say that b is greater than l then it will be called as contracted wear next one that is based on shape of wear this type of wear is called as rectang uh, rectangular wear and this type of structure you can say it as triangular wear and this is trapezoidal wear अगर आप गौर से देखें तो ट्रेपेजाइडल के अंदर ये ट्राइंगुलर भी मौजूद है और रेक्टेंगुलर भी मौजूद है ये वाला इसका हिस्सा ये अगर यहाँ से कट लगाएं ऐसे और यहाँ से कट लगाएं ऐसे तो ये इतना हिस्सा रेक्टेंगुलर होगा और इस हिस्से को और इस हिस्से को मिलाएं तो वो ट्राइंगुलर बन जाएगा यानी कि ट्रेपेजाइडल जो है वो इन दोनों का साम है जो इन दोनों का फार्मूला होगा उनको जम जमा करें तो वही ट्रेपेजाइडल का फार्मूला होगा इस हिस्से को अगर यहाँ से कट लगाएं और यहाँ से कट लगाएं तो ये हमारे पास रेक्टेंगुलर बनता है और ये वाला पोर्शन और ये वाला पोर्शन जस्ट लाइक एज अ ट्राइंगुलर नाउ व्हाट इज द फार्मूलाज फॉर दीज डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ वियर्स वी हैव टू जस्ट मयर टू थिंग्स इन ऑल द वियर्स that is h and l you have to measure this length and this h b and h in all cases in also previous you have to uh, tell, uh, measure the b and h this one is h in in this case h is this you have to only consider only two things that is uh, b and h or b or l and h then discharge 
computation rectangular wear formula q is equal to 2 by 3 cd square root of 2g into l into h to the power 3 by 2 q is discharge in cubic meter per second l is the length of crest and the head over the wear is denoted by h which is in meters and g is gravitational acceleration due to gravi uh, gravitational acceleration which is uh, whose value is 9.81 meter per square second and cd is coefficient of discharge which will be given in the numerical next one is press the rectangular wheel for this Francis's formula is used that is equal to q is equal to 0 0.0184 l h to the power 3 by 2 where q is discharge l is crest length and h is the head over the wheel and next one that is contracted wheel also Francis's formula for that q is equal to 0 0.0184 into l minus 0.1 nh into h to the power 3 by 2 same discharge is in cubic meter per second or liter per second unit may be interconverted l is crest length and h is head over the wear and n is the number of contractions if there is no number of contractions then n is equal to 0 if there is one contract uh, only at one side there is a contraction then it its value is equal to 1 if uh, at both sides then its value is equal to 2 for example in this case n is equal to 0 in this case n is equal to 2 because contraction on both side if uh, n is equal to 1 it means yahan se ये वाली जो स्ट्रिप है ये नहीं होगी और ये साथ इधर पे पानी इस जगह पे भी पानी होगा या इस साइड पर या इस साइड पर एक साइड पे कंट्रैक्शन होगी दूसरी साइड पर कंट्रैक्शन नहीं होगी इसका ये मतलब है तो n is equal to number of contractions next one that is triangular wear q is equal to 8 by 15 into cd 2g square root tan and theta into h key power 5 by 2 here q discharge h had g acceleration and cd is coefficient of discharge and uh, for triangular section uh, theta is equal to 45 ये वाला जो हमारे पास थीटा है ये कितना है 45 maybe it is not given in question you have to consider it as 45 then discharge computation for trapezoidal where I have already mentioned that it is the summation of summation of rectangular plus triangular this is formula for triangular this is for rectangular dono ko jama kare to ye hamare paas trapezoidal wear aa jayega baki sari cheeze wohi hain next this is numerical for your assignment aapne ye sare jitne bhi numericals given hain ye assignment pages par saath saath banate jaye aur jab main kahunga aapne submit kara dene तो ये फ्रांसिसिस फॉर्मूला है इसके अंदर हेड भी दिया हुआ है लेंथ भी दी हुई है विद नो एंड कंट्रैक्शन मींस n is equal to 0 यहां पर n is equal to 1 यहां पर n is equal to 2 ये आपने सॉल्व करना है इसी तरीके से ये दोनों न्यूमेरिकल भी आपने सॉल्व करने हैं नेक्स्ट इज द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ बियर्स ग्रेट एक्यूरेसी ऑफ डिस्चार्ज मेजरमेंट यहां पर हमारे पास जो डिस्चार्ज की वैल्यू है वो उसकी एक्यूरेट मेजरमेंट होती है और ये मेथड काफी सिंपल भी है और आसान भी है और नो ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन है फ्लोटिंग मटेरियल के लिए और पायदार भी है और इसके डिसएडवांटेजेस क्या हैं 
اس میں ہیڈ لاؤس ہوتا ہے اگر لو ٹوپوگرافی ہو اور اس کا سیکنڈ پرابلم یہ کافی سویر پرابلم ہے جس کی وجہ سے اس کو بہت کم یوز کیا جاتا ہے کہ یہاں پر یہاں اس کے پیچھے یہاں پر جب پانی جو ہے نا یہاں پر پانی پیچھے سے آ رہا ہے تو ساتھ سیلٹ کلے جتنے بھی مٹی وغیرہ آتی ہے وہ یہاں پر جمع جاتی ہے تو جو یہاں پر جمع ہوتی ہے تو ہم جب ہیڈ میئر کرتے ہیں تو اس کی ویلیو صحیح نہیں آتی کیونکہ وہ جو ساتھ والے جو پارٹیکلز ہیں وہ یہاں پر ہوتے ہیں جم جاتے ہیں اور اس ان کی اس کی وجہ سے یہاں پر جو ہم ہیڈ میئر کرتے ہیں ایچ وہ یہ دیکھیں یہ یہ جو ہم نے ہیڈ میئر کیا ہے تو یہ یہ پانی کا نہیں ساتھ ان کا بھی شامل ہو جائے گا تو یہ اس کا ڈرا بیک ہے اس لیے ہم اس کو یوز نہیں کرتے موسٹلی دیز آر آل دا اپروکسیمیشنس ٹو فائنڈ دا ڈسچارج مختلف طریقہ کار ہیں اور کون سا طریقہ کہاں پر استعمال کرنا ہے یہ ڈپینڈ کرتا ہے آپ کے پاس جہاں آپ کھڑے ہیں وہاں پر کیا کیا فیسلٹیز ہیں اس بہت ساری چیزوں پر یہ ڈپینڈ کرتا ہے کہ آپ نے کون سا میتھڈ لگانا ہے تھینک یو اللہ حافظ